welcome back. It's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. Today I am talking about the outfit formula, particularly outfit formulas that I think work really well for the summer season. I'm a huge fan of repeating outfits but just swapping them out with different items in my closet. So I've got five very basic but foolproof outfit formulas that I'm going to share and then zhuzh them up a little bit because it's easy to fall into the same pattern of wearing the same things and that's not necessarily what an outfit formula is about. It's actually a tool that can help you get more out of your closet and bring a little like spice to your closet, you know? Today's video is in partnership with Organic Basics, which I thought was perfect because a solid outfit formula starts with solid basic pieces. And Organic Basics is a wonderful company based out of Denmark who really specialize in these core items for your closet. The best part is that they are a very conscious company and all of their clothing is very responsibly made. Organic Basics is a B certified corporation, which means they've met the highest criteria for responsible manufacturing on both the ethical manufacturing side, so they employ fair labor practices, they're very transparent about where their factories are, and that also applies to their environmental responsibility as well. So I've worked with Organic Basics before, I continue to love their pieces, and I've got a couple in my outfit formulas, which you'll see today. I have a discount code for you with Organic Basics. I will leave it in the description box below. And of course, I will leave the links to the pieces that I mentioned in the description box below as well, in case you are in need of some core pieces for your closet. One of the things I get asked about a lot in my virtual styling sessions is how do I come up with an outfit formula? So I thought I would share some of my easiest tips to create an outfit formula. My first tip is to put together an outfit from your go-to items. Your easy ones that you feel really comfortable in, that you know go together, but take a moment to add a third piece. This could be a belt, a watch, uh, a scarf, or even something more substantial like a blazer or a bomber jacket. A third piece can really spice up your look, but because you're wearing it with items that you're already really comfortable in, you're not going to feel like you're going too far out of your comfort zone. You can keep going to your go-tos and swap out your third pieces to create completely different looks. The second tip to make every outfit formula work really well is to think of balance. So this goes for balance in terms of silhouette, whether it's wearing something fitted in one part and balancing it out with something a little bit more flowy and voluminous on top. It's also about balancing proportions and I think this is what makes really well-dressed people stand out. I don't think anyone has a perfect figure. It's just really about understanding how to wear proportions that create a shape that you love. And in the summer, something that I do is balance out where I show my skin. So if I'm showing off my shoulders and arms, I'm gonna keep my legs covered and vice versa. My last tip for a solid outfit formula is to think of coordinating colors or textures or both. This just means to pay attention to coordinating at least two items from your outfit. My first outfit formula and my absolute most go-to look is a button-up shirt. Of course, you are probably not surprised if you've been around here for a while. And a pair of shorts. I have these linen shorts that I found secondhand, which I absolutely love, but because they're relatively short, I want to balance out that excess of skin in my legs with a nice long sleeve and looser shirt. So I'm gonna try it on and show you how I do that. Here we go. This is like my absolute go-to for summer. For day, I would grab the flats that I was wearing, my black and white ones. What I'm also gonna do is just like zhuzh up the sleeves a little bit. Is that a official fashion term? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm sure they use it at Vogue all the time. Okay, so I've cuffed my sleeves, that's great, but we could still add maybe a third piece. So I'm gonna add my belt. And finally, my purse is great for that whole coordination piece because it works with the white in my shoes and my belt, but also my little ring. I'm gonna keep it on because it kind of brings that, that continuity for the white together. There, so this is how I would wear this for day. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty sure I've worn this before. My next summer outfit formula is the inverse of this. So long pants on the bottom and a fitted tank top on top. So for this I've chosen the new 
as promised, Organic Basics Tencel Pants. So Tencel is a really beautiful fabric, both for its environmentally responsible properties. It's made out of beech and aspen trees, which grow quickly. And Organic Basics uses a closed loop system and 80% less water than cotton. Cotton is a beautiful fabric also, but it's a very, very thirsty plant. So I like that these are made of Tencel, and Tencel is a really great fabric for summer. I can describe it as a cross between cotton and silk. So it's really light, it's really comfortable, and if you're someone who likes to wear pants in the summer, it could be a really nice option for you. I'm gonna try them on for you so you can see. I got them in a size small, but because they have a lot of volume on them, I'm gonna balance out the silhouette with a fitted top. Okay, here we are in all of my tensile glory. These pants, here's how they look from the back. Very relaxed. I could see myself traveling in these because they are just like they feel like air, which is quite lovely. But I've styled them right now just with my sneakers. So I've got a little bit of continuity between the two whites, but I could still add a third piece. So I'm gonna add a watch. I'm gonna add this one here because it's got a canvas strap and the white face. So it's mimicking the contrast in my base outfit. Uh, and it's also continuing that theme of very relaxed, very functional and easy. Let me tell you about these pants. These are a small, however, the drawstring has a lot of give. So I would say you could probably size down. I would debate even getting these taken up a little bit so I can see a little bit of my ankle. However, wearing them just like this, easy peasy with a pair of sneakers, is really trending right now. However, I am not trendy. I am not cool. So I'm just going to show you what they look like rolled up. This is so cute. I would have them adjusted so that I keep the taper coming down to the bottom. And I definitely need something going on up top. This makes it feel a little bit more dressed. My third piece wasn't wild and outrageous, but it does make a big difference. And I've changed up the proportions a little bit by cuffing these little pants. I think this is great. Wow, yay. My next outfit formula, which I'm starting to get a little bit more wear out of, is a midi skirt and a tank top or camisole. I'm gonna throw this one on, which I found secondhand, with my Organic Basics Tencel Tank. What I love about these is that the Tencel Tank has a little bit of like an athletic feel and it balances out the very soft and feminine feel of the silk skirt. And I'm also playing around a little bit with the balance in silhouette because this is a very fitted top. Meanwhile, the skirt is a little bit more flowy. Okay, so here is my skirt tank combo. Feels like not much right now, but the first thing that I'm going to do is adjust the proportion of this tank top. Again, like I like my legs to look a little bit longer and I want to take advantage of the high waist of the skirt, but it's difficult to tuck this tank top into this kind of skirt because it's really unforgiving. So what I'm just going to do is fold it over. Okay, so I've adjusted my top and I've also added these little very minimal sandals. I like the way the black bookends the look. But if I really want to build an outfit formula that has like a little bit of sizzle to it, oh my gosh, all of these very, very professional fashion words, um, I would add a scarf. This is how I would finish the look. I think we have a lot of the coordinating colors happening here. Yeah, I like this look. I would definitely wear this, even though I'm slightly afraid of sandals. My next outfit formula also involves a skirt, but it's a completely different vibe. So I've got this very fitted pencil skirt, but I'm gonna balance out this silhouette with a really simple t-shirt. When I want a more boxy and relaxed look, this is a men's size small from Organic Basics, and I think it pulls off that like, really easy, casual vibe really well. So I like how the boxy and the slim fit play together. I've worn this combination a couple of times already, so I'm gonna try it on for you now. So here is this outfit combination. I feel so at home in this. What I find interesting about this outfit formula is that because there's such an interesting mix between silhouettes, there isn't that much you have to do with it to create a more interesting and pulled together look. As a third piece, I'm just gonna do 
a belt these flats but if i wanted to build on the like sporty relaxed leisure t-shirt that i've got i could also wear my sneakers with this it would just be a different balance of the two different style vibes you can play with the different mixes of style vibes that you are feeling that day so i'm really happy with this if I wanted to add a bag, I would go with the black and white so that we have some of that continuity and those coordinating colors. All right, my last outfit formula is a little bit of an imposter because it's just one piece, but I don't think you can go through summer without a dress. Because shoes are inevitable, the only outfit formula that I think really applies to a dress is a dress plus a third piece. I like this because it leaves the third piece completely open to however you want to interpret it and however you're feeling that day. So it doesn't put you in a box so much so that you only wear your dress one way. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> in this dress. I've chosen the little espadrille because I like how they elevate my frame with the longer hemline. This needs a watch. I want to pull from the brown tones in the dress a little bit, but my third piece for this, don't laugh, is a very dilapidated travel hat. Um, I had to pull this out of storage, so excuse, um, it's not perfect color coordination. I'm hoping to add a hat in this like cognac color here, but sacrificing the overall beauty of this look so that you can see how much that third piece of a hat makes a huge difference to the overall look. And if I had to add a bag, it would be this little basket one. Then I continue that coordinated color with the browns in the bag, and I think it's pretty synonymous with the vibe of the espadrille. It's cut this picnic lady chic aesthetic. And that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much again to Organic Basics for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget I have a discount code for you in the description box below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something new. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and I will be back with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful week ahead. Ciao!